How's it going everyone? Welcome to Frank's Media and Reviews. Guys, today's video is an unboxing and a 4K review to Poltergeist 2. This is the first time that I've ordered from Scream Factory's website uh, on a pre-order. So I got this pretty dang early. This shipped very fast because just literally the other day I got a shipping notification and it already arrived here and I live in Narnia guys <laughs> so nothing ever really shows up early at all in fact in fact at the timing of this review I'm still waiting on my uh, movies of a sweet better life and the immaculate 4k I don't know what the hell's where where it is because it's been in my town it's been in Portland for like five days but I, there's no other next process. There's like, <laughs> so I don't know if my package got lost. So I'm just thankful that I got this early. So, oh man, the troubles of living in the Pacific Northwest, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy sometimes. Um, I am pretty dang excited. I haven't seen this movie in a very long time like forever it's been years like i think maybe 20 years it's got to be probably more than that so i don't re really remember much um poltergeist is one of my favorite horror films of all time uh and so i'm just really excited to see this movie again but in 4k so let's see what all this came with So, a true unboxing. Comes with a shout wrapping paper. Whoa. Oh. Uh, I don't know if it was supposed to come with the top or bottom. <laughs> but here's a poster of this right here. And here is the movie with a beautiful slip. Gosh, dude, I'm I'm so damn excited about this, man. Uh, if you like these type of videos, hit the like and subscribe button. If you do, I really appreciate it. Check out my tier memberships. It starts as low as a dollar ninety-nine, y'all. Um, I. Yeah, I love this slip cover. I love the cover to it as well. Um, again, I haven't seen this in a very long time, so I don't remember if this is the cover to the original poster. Uh, I'm assuming so, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. So let's kind of just uh, see if this has a reversible sleeve. And then here is the other side. Here's the back. There you go. And it says right there, they're back. I know I got the poster here, but I'm just going to open this man. I'm so excited. So yeah, there will be obviously a 4K review uh, so fast. Oh my gosh. Here's the inside of a 4K and Blu-ray. And there is no reverse. Not at all. It's all white. It's all blank. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. Blu-ray, uh, ooh, dang, the 4K disc looks really nice. That is some pretty cool art design, not gonna lie. Um, and then, let's see, what else? Like I said, there's a poster. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, yeah, I, it's taped. I'm not gonna really open this, guys, so I apologize on that front. But this is what it looks like. It's the same as the cover. 
right here. So uh, to the 4K disc. Um, so that is that. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this um, at all, but I have it. So there you go. And that's all that I got with it, guys. So next is going to be my review. I'll go into the more uh, details uh, of the of the film. And then, of course, special features and all that fun stuff. I just got done seeing Poltergeist 2. Right off the bat, I have to say that the practical effects for this movie is insane. So damn good. I love 80s films that use, uh, and a majority of them use practical effects. It's so damn awesome. Uh, so, uh, Poltergeist 2 uh, is uh, directed by Brian Gibson, stars Greg T. Nilsson, uh, Joe Beth Williams, uh, Heather O'Rourke, Oliver Robbins, William Sampson, and the iconic villain uh, played by Julian Beck, uh, who plays Kane. Just straight night of the hunter vibes uh just that same religious intimidating villain um and yeah uh even like walking towards the home um it's just crazy man uh so that was pretty cool uh so poltergeist 2 takes place a year after the original they're now living over at uh the wife's um uh, mother's home and, uh, yeah, just, you know, strange stuff starts to happen. You, uh, of course, later on down uh, the movie, you get to know why certain things are happening again uh, in the film and why Kane is uh, basically going after uh, Carol Ann. Again, that's Heather O'Rourke. And just... <laughs> uh, yeah, I this was a pretty good sequel. Um, I don't think it did too well in um, with the reviews and the box office. I could be wrong with that. I didn't check that, but um, you know, I, I don't think it was a bad uh, prequel or sorry, not prequel, but a sequel, um, like at all. Uh, Pract again, the practical effects look really good. I this one doesn't even compare to the original, um, but for what the movie is, uh, I mean, Kane honestly is kind of like the star of this movie. If I'm being honest, he's just a memorable uh, villain, and he is just played perfect, just absolute perfect by Julian. Uh, Beck, uh, I mean, iconic uh, villain, cheese uh, man. So very haunting, scary, uh, you know, type of villain. So, uh, but yeah, I, um, you know, throughout the whole story, uh, you know, it just definitely plays with the, uh, you know, of course, a poltergeist, uh, Native American, uh, religious. Uh, type of uh, cult uh, as well. I mean, it, so it kind of blends in multiple stuff uh, in this film. Uh, and, and so uh, overall, I thought it was a very good sequel and I highly recommend it. Um, as far as the 4K transfer, uh, this is from the um, camera negative, uh, which is a, is a 35 uh, that I don't know. Uh, it looked really good. Um, so great 4K transfer. Daytime scenes looked really good. I do have to say, especially when they're out in the garden, vibrant uh, colors with the flowers. Um, and then um, when those uh, ghosts, the poltergeists, when they spark, uh, when they're flying around, it just looked very good on the screen. Uh, Close-ups looked really good. Um, yeah, grain looked fine too. No, no problems uh, at all, at least with my screen. Uh, I, I thought the 4K transfer was pretty good, man. Um, yeah, Screen Factory is knocking uh, home runs, man. They're hitting home runs. They're not getting it out, out of the park, I think. The, with, with their 4K transfers this year, and I don't think that's being talked enough. 
in my opinion. Um, so kudos to Scream Factory with their 4K transfers this year because this is another stellar 4K transfer. Um, this film for the audio has Dolby Atmos. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, all, it also has uh, 5.1, uh, but yeah, and then 2.0. Uh, but the Dolby Atmos, for the most part, it's a good Dolby Atmos uh, immersive um, uh, experience. Uh, dialogue is, you know, it, the surrounds really don't kick in until like the action kind of happens. Um, the Atmos, you do he- uh, hear it when, like in the beginning of the film, the house starts to creak, uh, you know, the rooftop, uh, or at least the ceiling, you know, you, you kind of hear that. Uh, you hear um, some surrounds with uh, the ghost uh, flying around. Uh, and when they're in the other dimension, uh, so overall i thought it was a good um experience with the dolby atmos um but again dialogue was was all up in the front and so it was just kind of like whenever it was needed it would kick in with the uh, immersive uh audio design so no complaints with that um bass surprised me uh there was some kick and bass uh at least you know again from my system um yeah no complaints uh with the special features um there is let's see there i i don't know i think this is just ported over from the other um because i think scream factory did a blu-ray of poltergeist 2 and i don't see anything new about it however uh, Robbie's Return, uh, there's some good special features though. Uh, Robbie's Return uh, is 14 minutes long um, and he just talks about experience. Uh, I actually didn't know that Greg T. Nelson uh, was a writer uh, before becoming an actor, so that was kind of cool. Uh, the Spirit World, um, very cool. It's uh, 22 minutes long. That one, I didn't know that these uh, special effects artists, they worked on Ghostbusters, uh, Fright Night, and then the Poltergeist 2, so that's pretty badass. Um, And uh, let's see, uh, Ghost of uh, Geiger, uh, that was pretty cool, because again, the the practical effects, the creature designs for this film looked fantastic fantastic man and that's a lot about what the special features are it's just all about the practical uh, special effects uh, all the effects in general uh, so that was very uh, cool to see um, and let's see uh, they're back these are just like short six minute uh, making of poltergeist uh, monster shop is only a couple minutes uh, ghost makers is the magic of poltergeist that's also six minutes long then there's the theatrical trailer uh, tv spots so uh all in all i thought the special features uh was was pretty good um yeah uh what is it like an hour uh a little maybe a little over an hour of um special features so um but yeah acting was very good um Again, the storyline is is okay, but I thought it was still like a good movie. But again, the the special effects, the practical effects, all looked so dang good on 4K. And again, another stellar 4K transfer from Scream Factory this year. I might do a video with the best 4K transfers for the year, man. Uh, with just Scream Factory, seriously, man, they are just knocking out of the park with their transfers um so that is my review for poltergeist 2 uh 4k from scream factory um thank you guys uh for watching the video hit the like and subscribe button if you do i really appreciate it and i can't believe i got this this early again i never order anything from scream factory so might have to do that in the future uh for some movies because it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Uh, thank you to my tier members, John from let's talk entertainment media, 
uh, William Driver, uh, Raymond, and Insomniac. So thank you guys and have a good one. Mm -hmm.